Who came up with the brilliant idea that to overcome your stage fright, just imagine your audience naked? I think that was uh, Stanislavski. No. It's part of the method. Well, Stanislavski didn't come up with the method, but no, he okay. did. He did. He was no. Like, he came up with the system. The method want, do was you, created by Strasberg. Do you want to get a boner? Who, to imagine your audience naked. <laughs> method. <laughs> Josh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions of Corbin. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Patreon, follow the account. Subscribe if you haven't hit the like button. I don't know if that's helped you, but for the entirety of the history of OSR, I have consistently, without fail, every reaction, review, and interview imagined everyone watching naked. There's children watching. You are gross. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting your words out there. Uh, today we got a behind the scenes of Sardar Udam. Oh, that makes me... Freaking happy! Apparently, this came out the oh. in December of last year. I'm sorry we missed it, but this is re recreating 1919 oh. 19, oh. through oh. 1940s oh. era with uh, Sujit Sarkar uh, and Vicky Kushal. If you haven't seen our review of Sardar Udam, and if you haven't seen Sardar Udam, go see Sardar Udam. It's on Amazon. Uh, but or was, if you didn't see our dummies, where we voted for the best films of the year, which was Rick's best of that year. Yep, it was my second best of that year, uh, only behind uh, Great Indian Kitchen for me. Um, but a fantastic film. But this what a is film. a little uh, behind the scenes. I'm so of looking forward Sardar to it because in our Dumb. review we talked about this was Spielberg level production design um, and an art direction for for the totality of the scope and the scale of us putting us in this era of history. This is going to be great. Here we go. The research and to create the era of this film Sadarudam was really, really uh, tough and challenging. <laughs> that when you're doing a period film and when you are creating 1919 and 1920 and 1930s, you are literally creating everything. So I've been on this subject for almost like 20, 21 years. So I have lived, I've read each and every possibly book, every article, every essay. It shows, possibly. it I, showed. I went through uh, mostly the statements by the survivors. So that helped me a lot. Yeah, so the first segment was uh, Amritsar and we actually started off with Jallianabad. If you go down to certain old lanes now also in Amritsar, they still retain those the typical wooden balconies which are there. So those are the things that we had to really look into when we were uh, creating yeah, but the whole You also program. have to pay attention uh, so to we anything from Patiyana, contemporary. Patiyana, because there are many you cars can't miss that. still available in Punjab, which are from that particular era of <clears throat> some cars of Rajas and Maharajas. Some cars are still there with some particular people, museum who has still kept it as a treasure. So we requested and got them there. I was really nervous in terms of how will I create this Jaliyamala Park, uh, that space where I find. And as you know, Jaliyamala Park, was under renovation, which has just come out. So it was when we were there. Put a shot over there. Then we had to go through a lot of old images and everything. How exactly the old where Jallianwalabagh looked like? So my friend Shubendu and my EP suggested to see it in Amritsar and around, and also the kind of faces and people we get. When Shubendu and Umar showed me this particular location where we shot this. So we got this school called Gyan Ashram. We took this whole ground, we made a whole base of the film over there. It was a school. You wouldn't believe I was so happy. I was looking okay, no, this is Jenny Amalabad location, yes. Such an intense sequence. I thank the entire uh, people of Amritsar for welcoming us with open hand. In terms of location and identification of the location of Jaliwala, there are two, three things. Of course, the brick walls, that particular iron gate, mm -hmm. little small temple at the corner. And there was a well. We didn't have the well, so we actually dug the well there. Oh, we wow. Created. You see that the mention of the well is there because a lot of people died there. And the most important was we made uh, dead bodies. Oh, we wow. We made 200 dead bodies. And uh, again, with more detail of Sujita, he was very specific, the color of the blood. 
so I think we must have used uh, at least uh, almost thousand liters of blood, mm. maybe more, no less. So everywhere around, it was nothing else. There was no water body; it was purely blood. I needed to recreate this event the way it is. You did, did a phenomenal job. In terms of casting of the characters and the faces, that was very very important for us. So we requested Makhanji, Makhanji, don't get uh, uh, people's particular faces uh, from the city event. So he said, then we'll have to go to the village. ऐसे लगा गांव में से लोग हमने लून लून के लाए हैं जो क्राउड या जूनियर आर्टिस्ट के लिए तो वो भी वैल्यू रखते हैं. Uh, there's a martial art group every gurdwara is associated with they are uh, known as gatkars so what they do is they have children a 6 year old to say at least uh, you know 40 year or 50 year old they perform martial arts they go from village to village and they perform so we wanted those uh, you know gatka people to come and they just came uh, with us uh, without them i would have been really handicapped in terms of recreating that janewala event there's a certain kind of a uh, Uh, requirement that you that I was looking for, especially the even the British force people, uh, because the people who were firing uh, were actually from the Gorkha unit of of the British at that time. Have you got doubt, Mr. Singh? No, sir. Many jamming sessions. How to create this realistic uh, kind of wounds, you know? And then the body skin types were which was beautiful uh, match, uh, because what the Europe they got sometimes they get their skin type but they didn't match with our skin type. Those were absolutely matched wow. with the, our skin types. Wow. Because this film is all real about what has happened, and that's the reason uh, he has created all Spielberg this level of attention to detail. CG or anything. The action is not about uh, flying or going away. It was quite raw. Yes. So, you know, it was just purely running, stampeded, and bullet hits. Hey! Brilliant. Being in Jallianwala Bag, between an action and cut, and I would see those bodies around me. I would freeze because not as an actor, not as a human being, I was prepared for something like that. The research part was uh, one of my favorite. Going through so many beautiful pictures of a certain time period, uh, even again following that, even for the Jallianwala Bag, there were a lot of whites. The clothes were aged. Extremely well, extremely well. That's so hard to do. A lot of people to get ready every day. Sometimes four o'clock, sometimes five o'clock. That was itself a big challenge for us. Clothing London, a couple hundred people. We did a lot of research over there to find out outskirts of London to see if we can recreate that era. I have never been to London. I have seen London through pictures, and especially all the cinemas also, all the films that's been shot of that era. We took that as a reference point. Because today there are so many modern elements, road signages, road paintings. Those were not there in those days. So these were certain things that were taken into account. So what happened is at least the basic uh, architecture is still the old architecture. Then the newer elements had to be removed to make sure that it is. It was a lot of work taking so down much stuff. Yeah. Wall design, the streets, and everything. And of course, we would prop it up with those London taxis and London buses of that era. We are used to a very Indian. Winter, <laughs> which is probably zero degrees, one degrees, two degrees, and here I was in minus five, which is feeling like minus twenty. That moment, I was not thinking of what I'm going to shoot. I was thinking, how will I handle the cold, <laughs> freezing cold, bone chilling cold. It was really challenging for actors to be in a shirt, to be in a blazer, to be just without extra layers. You know, some places we did have overcoats, but sometimes best white actors we've ever seen in Indian cinema. Yeah, without question, did great casting. Moment. So it was really. Any of us will forget this experience. When everybody forms in those small areas of their artistic vision, then that we can create that realism, that organic, realistic, that cinema, which is more uh, mythical in nature, you know. So I think that art we can achieve. Last day, stand by. That's a wrap. <sighs> Makes you want to watch the movie again. Yeah, so. and watch a full two hour of how they made it, and it's just it's it's literally like having oxygen to see the intimacy of behind the scenes. Yeah, and that we say it all the time is the most collaborative art form in the world. Truly, um, there's no. I don't think there's an, a, a more collaborative art film art. 
art uh, art form than filmmaking. And that incorporates all of the fine arts yeah. in very specific and fundamentally needed ways. Yes. It does. Like it you it's very difficult to do a film alone. Almost impossible, I would say. And and almost pointless. Yeah. Um obviously some people have to. Um, but even even then, I don't think you can because unless you write it, direct it, film it, act it all yourself, and edit you, it, score it, and you really can't produce it, distribute it. Yep, you really can't. You really can't. Um, it's the most collaborative art form in the world. Yep, uh, and it's it's absolutely wonderful. And I love seeing stuff like this that that shouts out like. This, we, and we raved about it. The set design of this thing was impeccable. The costuming and makeuping was impeccable. Uh, like everything, if the, like, I think we said it, if this was a Hollywood film, it would have won multiple multiple Oscars. Oscars. It would. I, I think I had said at the time that this would have had an, at least an, uh, ten Oscar nominations if this had been an American film that had been released at the time because of everything: direction, acting, score, art design, costume design, makeup. Someday they'll do freaking stunt work at the Academy. It's so insulting that they don't. Thankfully, SAG does. Yeah. But yeah, this is this is truly this is on my all time favorite list. It's a it's a magnificent motion picture. It is, and yeah. it was a really good uh, uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, great. Uh, one. We've seen a lot of Too ones short. That, that 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 don't highlight as much as we would like. But this one did a, a really good job at at letting the because what you really want to see is you don't want to see like just a. A collage of no, shots. You no, want, you want to hear the artist talking from the yes. VFX people to the makeup to the costume people. See the production designer talking about production design and see the teams of people working because for, for people who love this art form, and, and it's not just actors, it's everybody who loves this art form, everybody who loves to be on set. You literally, I'm not <clears throat> kidding, you, and sometimes have to do this, it is a joy to sit on set for hours and just be in the world of that creative process collaboratively. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like it. It's the most wonderful experience. Yeah. Yeah. So to watch it is almost like being there. Absolutely. That yeah. was great. Uh, please let us know what other making of and uh, other uh, videos we can react to. And what should be so, uh, Sergeant? Uh, we need to see another, more of his films. Uh, and what's he doing next? Because I can't wait. Because he did Piku. He yeah, did, and we love that behind the scenes we got of him with yeah, he's Piku. A, he's a fantastic he's a great director. director. Uh, please let us know what his next film should be down below. Josh!